Hi guys, today we're going to treat a very interesting topic, which is how to achieve perfectly fine hair strokes in permanent makeup of eyebrows. You will see in reality, while we are tattooing into the skin, how different hand movement and different skills, different uh, position of your hand or position of the hand piece you're using or different angle of the needle into the skin will influence the final result you will achieve. So let's jump straight into the demonstration. First of all, let's compare the pushing movement and the releasing movement. What I'm doing now is a pushing movement. I'm pushing the needle into the skin and now I'm releasing the needle out of the skin. As you can see, the pushing movement has implanted a little bit more of pigment into the skin in comparison to the releasing one, and the line appear a little bit more defined. Now let's compare the angle in which we keep the handpiece. The first line, I'm doing it with my handpiece at 50, 60 degrees. In any case, in an angle, in comparison to the surface that I'm tattooing, in this case the skin. And the second line, I'm doing it with my handpiece perpendicular to the skin. So, 90 degrees from the skin. As you can see, the 90 degree angle has released a finer line in comparison to the 50-60 degrees angle which also means that the 60 and 50 degrees angle will implant more pigment into the skin, but the line, it's gonna be slightly wider. Another example again, and now we want to evaluate the speed of the hand, the speed of the movement into the skin. So the slower my hand goes, just like this, the more time I give to the needle to deposit more pigment into the skin. And indeed, as you can see, the second line, I did it pretty quickly and the result is that the second line is barely visible. I didn't implant enough pigment at all. So, better to always keep a slow movement if you want to implant pigment into the skin. The fourth and last example now, it's a comparison between using a continuous line movement and a back and forth movement. As you will see, the back and forth movement releases double the amount of pigment than, than in comparison to a continuous line, which makes it ideal for building up intensity for hair by hair technique. If you want to achieve a very intense saturation of the line, back and forth movement will give you exactly that. The aim of this video is not to tell you what movements are correct and what are not, because basically all the movements are correct. A complete artist needs to be able to use all of this movement, all of these tricks into the creation of his art. So when we create eyebrows, for example, sometimes we want to release more pigment and we are going to use I don't know, 45 degrees angle handpiece. At the times we wanna, you know, release less pigment and we're gonna use a 90 degree angle. Sometimes we wanna push the pigment in to have a more crispy line. Sometimes we want to release the needle out of the skin. The trick is to be able to do all of these techniques and use them whenever you think is necessary to achieve the perfect natural result that we all want. In the meanwhile, I'd like to take you with me during this touch-up session. And the treatment that I'm doing, as you can tell, is hair by hair. What I personally like to use is a back and forth movement because I do not want to go over the same hair stroke more than once. Otherwise, I might lose my precision. I might not be able to go over the same line twice. And so, in order not to do so, I want to release the perfect saturation, the perfect amount of pigment in just one pass. 
and this is why I love to use back and forth movement because it gives me exactly that. So if I would have used a continuous line, I would have had to go over the same hair stroke one, two, three times. But I know a lot of very good artists that use this uh, technique. Lucky them if they can do so. For me, I like to choose the easiest way possible, which for me, it's back and forth movement. And the angle of my handpiece is 90 degrees, perpendicular to the skin, because I want to release, I want these hair strokes to be as fine as possible. But still, I want to implant enough pigment to be able to have a perfect healed result. Because sometimes we see on Facebook, on Instagram, on the net in general, we see those hair strokes that are so fine, so natural, but you know guys, what we need to think is that we, if we do not implant enough pigment into the skin, nothing is gonna stay after the healing process, which takes approximately 30 days. So, yes, we want a fine hair stroke, but we also want to implant enough pigment so that that hair stroke will still be visible 30 days after. The needle I'm using, it's a one point HD needle, which is in general my favorite for hair stroke because it gives these very fine hair strokes and it's super stable. So it has a special configuration inside of the cartridge that prevents the needle from shaking right and left, which gives me additional precision during uh, the procedure. And the device I'm using is uh, Maestro from Biotech. It's a made in Italy device. And what I like the most about this device is that it's so powerful. I really do not need to push so much to implant the pigment. The device does it all for me. It even has a double processor inside that reads the resistance of the skin to the needle while we are tattooing, so automatically adjust the pressure of the needle into the skin. This means that this device is so innovating, it can help you to maintain exactly the same depth of implantation of the pigment throughout the whole eyebrow treatment. I am saying eyebrows now because we're talking about eyebrows, but I mean during whatever treatment you're doing. So this is why we call it the new era of permanent makeup. I'm just in love, obsessed with it. And we all know how bad it is when the pigment gets implanted too deep. Technically, there is an ideal layer of the skin in which we should deposit the pigment, which is the superficial dermis. And if we implant it in the lower derma, the pigment may turn into a grayish pigment and may blur at the side. So the crispy hair stroke that we all desire would actually uh, become uh, a blurry line after the healing process uh, which takes 30 days. This is why it's so important to deposit the pigment in the right layer of the skin. Otherwise uh, you jeopardize the naturalness of the result. So the difficulty for us permanent makeup artists is that if we implant it uh, too um, superficially into the skin, we implant it in the epidermis, which exfoliates with uh, the cellular turnover. And this would mean that the pigment would completely disappear after 30 days, which is the cycle of our uh, regeneration of the skin. And if we implant it too deep into the lower derma, the color would change, color will become grayish and will migrate at the side. So we really need to be extremely careful in implanting the pigment exactly in the superficial layer of the derma. And the, even more difficult is that the derma is not always uh, at the same depth in every type of skin. Actually, it's different in all the skin types depending on uh, um, the age of the client or the type of skin of the client. So, an experienced uh, permanent makeup artist will be able to determine what depth is the ideal depth of implantation of the pigment into the skin. And this device helps you with this difficult thing. If you're liking these video tutorials, uh, 
first of all give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you can be sure you're not gonna miss the next video tutorial. If you have any suggestion on what we should treat next time or any question on what we did today, feel free to leave a comment down below. Here we are, this is the final result of our touch-up session of eyebrows permanent makeup. Here's the result. What do you think, guys? I'm in love. I love those brows. They're just as beautiful as my model today. Really, I'm pretty satisfied with the result. What do you guys think? Once again, if you have uh, liked this video, like this result, uh, don't forget to put a like on this video and to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Ciao!